Hey my people, welcome to our home. Today I'm going to give you some quick cleaning motivation. I've got just about 15 minutes to spare after dinner, so while my husband is getting the kids' teeth brushed and PJs on, I am going to focus on just two rooms that need a good tidy. I have some really good tips as well for you, so stick around. Now don't be shy, we'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove, now don't be shy Since Thanksgiving is right around the corner, it's a good idea to go ahead and clean out your fridge so that you can make some space for all that delicious Thanksgiving food. If you have a pretty small fridge like we do, this is just non-negotiable. When I have a lot of time and I'm doing a deep clean, I normally take absolutely everything out of the fridge, including the shelves, drawers, and then I wipe it down. But today, I only have time for a quick clean, and something done is better than nothing done at all. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe and right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights. small grocery store bag next to me to dispose of everything easily. Next, I'm just wiping out drawers. I have cleaned out my spray bottle prior to this and filled it up with dish soap and water. That is really all you need to do a good clean inside of your fridge. I think it's a good idea to avoid any strong cleaning products while cleaning your fridge, so that way the chemicals don't get on or near your food and drinks. Now, if this wasn't a quick clean, I would take out the drawers, empty them, and soak them in warm, soapy water. But for time's sake today, the paper towels and spray will have to do. And as you can see, these half drinking water bottles are the perfect way for me to get in my glasses for the day. So thanks to my kids for that. <laughs> If your fridge is not smelling the best, even after you throw away the leftovers, try placing a cup or small bowl filled with baking soda inside your fridge. The baking soda will absorb those strong odors we just don't want and stop them from lingering inside of your fridge. the best tips I can give you for keeping up on your fridge or really any area of your home is to not let it get out of hand in the first place. Now I know that is so much easier said than done but hear me out. If you see a spill, stop and wipe it immediately. Wash the shelves or drawers when you notice that they're sticky and you'll stay ahead of the game every time. I try to remember to take off this handle cover at least once a week so I can throw it in the wash because man those sticky fingers sure do know how to mess up a door handle. count on Champy Champ to remind me that it's time for me to hurry up and spend some quality time with him. I just wanted to say my goal for this video was really just to practice what I'm preaching. So I know I kind of look like the hot mess express. I have on Mitch Match clothes and you know, the real objective here is just to get into the tidying. Sometimes you just need to keep up on your house, do a little bit of tidying up, and it doesn't have to take long. It doesn't have to be planned. You don't have to make an entire day out of it. 
and I just wanted to express that in this video today. Sometimes you don't have an entire day to just get it all done and that is perfectly fine. Do what you can do. Remember, a clean home is a happy home. Little by little, a little becomes a lot. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.